Thank you. Thank you for answering our improv. Okay, no, no, no. I think we're not done yet. We're not done. <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> My name is Ferro Mayola, the IT manager for Speeder, currently at the eMarket Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Speed Up Express podcast series. And today promises to be very, very interesting because we're going to be talking about something we just recently launched. Joy, can you? <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you have been following us on all our social media platforms, if you do think that we just recently launched the Speed Up Mobile app, can I get a video? <laughs> yes. Yeah, a very long time now um, requesting for pickups, packing your parcels and everything you can all do that with your mobile phone yeah. and stuff. And with us here is Mr. Fermi Ayola, our IT manager, the brain behind most of the <laughs> everything in <laughs> <laughs> bro, we yes. have a city. Welcome. Oh, Thank, you welcome. For Thank you for having me actually. Thank it's a, it's a nice one. It's a new year. It's a new uh, beginning for new things in speed up. So yeah. I'm grateful to be here. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So I'm um, Olami Kosi and I am Joy. I can't get into it. Yeah. All right. So first question. I mean, I mean, I'm sure that this question is going to be on the minds of most people that have already seen, you know, the introduction to the app. So why did why was the app actually developed? Why did we create the app? Okay, so the application itself, um, for most companies, right, uh, you know, in Nigeria, basically, um, yeah. we are at the forefront of actually being able to assist customers in terms of making things easier for them. And one thing, one thing you guys should know is the application itself is to enable efficiency in terms of the operation aspect. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons why people create application is to eliminate paperwork. Mm -hmm. Because we're in the 21st century that um, enables us to go further than where we are at the moment. Okay. So why do we have the application basically is to have a, a proper relationship with our customers mm -hmm. and our customers being able to feel like a family in speed up logistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those are one of the reasons why we we decided to launch an application in 2023. Okay, so um, now that the app has been successfully launched, can, can you like just pick up some key features of the app? Okay, so the application basically, because we did our survey and sat down with some of our key customers with your feedbacks, mm -hmm. we were able to see that this is one of the complaints the customers, or rather the online um, e-commerce um, shippers wanted in the application. So we were able to have various features, but the major features I'll just um, quickly let you guys know on is the, we have the send shipment. Um, the send shipment allows you to be able to send your parcel. If you are a customer, you just want to ship from one location to the other. This enables you to do that. And if you are like an e-commerce that wants to ship multiple shipments, we have the batch, the batch sending parcels. This allows you to be able to send multiple shipments at once. We don't want you to constantly create information um, when you want to raise shipments, so you can actually use that function. We also have a way whereby maybe you just want to glance through and have an idea of what it will cost your shipment to go from Lagos to Abuja, from Abuja to Lagos, from Lagos to Port Harcourt. And what this does is you can actually check the rates. Um, checking the rates comes with the kg. You can have an estimated kg, okay. which you can actually check, and also the transit time because from Lagos to Abuja is is farther than Lagos to Lagos. Yeah. Mm. So definitely, in cases like that, we are able to to um, showcase that to you. So you can have that as as a yardstick to plan your um, deliverables, okay. and also. Aside all this, you know, there's no way a customer would not want to still make further inquiries. Yeah. So this um, comes boils down to the fact that we have the customer support on the application, whereby you can actually chat with a customer agent or actually reach out to them by calling them. Okay. So this enables us to have a full-fledged idea of what the customer wants and how we can actually support them. So this is basically the major things the app does. Okay, so you have rights on key features of the app. Um, personally, I feel like it's very, very brilliant because mm -hmm. I mean, if I want to order for stuff or I want to sell shipments, I wouldn't have to go to our DM <laughs> or text us on WhatsApp you know, to like 
because of people, all you just need to do is to download the app, download the, the speed up mobile app today. So, yeah. Yes, on iOS. Yeah, yeah and Android. Play Store. Yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, last year, we launched a product or another product, J. Okay. J, the chat booth. Yeah. Yeah. For you know, easy communication and you know, inquiries. So where sure. by in the midnight, you feel like your parcel, your mind is not addressed, mm-hmm. and you want to know the whereabouts of the parcel, you can text Jane and then she will respond to you. So, now what relationship you think Jane has with? Yes, you have an idea. Thank you so much. You have an idea of what Jane does. Yeah. Jane is an interactive personnel robot yeah. whereby it enables you to get information, uh, pick up locations, um, um, where our sites are located. Also, Jane was an invention that allows us to, we um, speed up logistics, allows us to be able to relate to customers in other platforms, media platforms. You know, yeah. we can categorically say that um, people are more platforms than having an application on their phones. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to reach out to those customers on social media, which is WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok, um, Instagram, yes. basically. Mm-hmm. So the relationship between these two platforms is that it allows the customers to be able to reach out to us, not just on the application itself, but also on the social media platforms. The same information you are requiring from us or the same pickup request you are requiring from us enables you to be able to do that mm-hmm. but like i do like i would say the application itself gives an advanced um, operational aspect because okay. you are able to get your information without needing to chat you are able to see the status without needing to chat mm-hmm. all, you, all you just need to do is open the application and check the status of your waves of the orders you've created on our application yeah, so it's like having everything all in one, rather yes. than having scattered information yes, exactly. everywhere. All in one, yeah. all in one. Okay, because I feel like you've answered the next question, <laughs> but I'm still going to say. So, of what benefits does the or of what advantage does the app have? Okay, so like I said, uh, let me just yes. So you know, I didn't really drive dive into that when I was answering the previous yeah. question, but just to explain. Um, on the application itself, we have the home page, the home menu for the functions I mentioned earlier. Yeah. Now, we also have the tracking aspect interface, which allows you to see the information mm-hmm. and the rider. Now, this application, what benefit it has is that it's not just talking from the shipper, it's talking from the shipper to the operations, to the courier that is coming to pick up. Mm-hmm. So, you are able to see a, um, a status, a transparent status of what is happening to your parcel. Okay. Um, what this also helps you is at the comfort of your, of your home, you can actually order for pickup and knowing fully when the next um, one hour, two hours or even 30 minutes, depending on the location, you are able to pick up. Nice. So it's, it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was asked that question yeah. because I mean, we've been getting a lot of feedback from customers and likes of it. But what should be the or what is the estimated time? Let's say, for example, I request for pickup. I'll get yeah. How long do you do before I get um, like a pickup? Pick okay, so uh, in, in cases like that, it usually depends on the proximity. You know, okay. for instance, if we have a closer proximity or a closer site to your proximity, it will be easier for us to pick up. For instance, we have um, a site in Lekki yeah. Phase One. So if your if your house is in Lekki Phase One, we can pick up. Okay. We also have sites in Ujodu. So many sites, rather. So the closer, the better. But okay. notwithstanding, we can still pick up your passes, but the estimated time will be communicated to you. So it varies, and also in other locations, it varies depending on how far it is from our sites. Okay. okay. So I will just add this question. I know you're not, you're not prepared for this question. So now that we have the app, what is what function do you think can be added to make it you know easier and better for the customers? What function do you think we would need to add probably in the nearest future? Okay, so yeah. one of the functions I think that might be um, needed, which we currently we are, we are currently doing internally, which is ability for riders to call customers, okay. uh, a virtual call, oh, right? Okay. So customers and uh, riders are not spending money on their calls. Okay. So if we have like a toll free for customers to be able to to reach out to our customer service, it will be better for them because okay, I think these ride hailing services yeah. have it too. We oh, can okay. call their drivers yeah. on the app. Yes. Yeah, so okay. so if all this 
um, companies are, are bringing this innovation, this is something we're also supposed to look into yeah. and ensuring that um, this is enabled uh, in our own application. Mm -hmm. So definitely those are some of the things we might work on in the nearest future. Okay, so um, we don't usually do this, but uh, I feel like the next question Jose is going to answer that question. No way! <laughs> no way! No way! By the way, by the way, something just crossed my mind. Also, side information. You know, if you request for pickup, you can get an instant tracking number or baby number. Yes, yeah. sure. Yes. So that one, that one thing. Mm -hmm. So, Jose, this question is for you because it's apparently your. I know you're on the hot seat. <laughs> but Jose, I want to check the hot seat. Oh my God! So, what? <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, we are trying to leverage on the um, the wide um, wide range of customers that we've already acquired over the years. You know, like they say, there's a, part, there's a pool of yeah. customers we've had their contacts and everything. So we are trying to get them to register on the app, download the app. I think that's the first step because those ones are the ones that have actually experienced our services before. So it will be easier for them to download rather than having people from outside wondering what speed up is all about and everything. So I think the first point of call is having all our contacts get to know about the app, having them to download it and also sign up because it's one thing to register. It's one thing to download rather and it's one thing to sign up. So I think one of the major things we are focusing on is having all our contacts, you know, getting to download the app okay, using so that, that brings me to my next question for Mr. Karen. So, like I said, we've been getting feedback. Yeah. So, in cases where people don't get a verification code in their phone numbers or their okay. emails, what happens? Okay, so in cases that um, customers rather are unable to get this verification codes, usually for the um, mobile devices, some of them have what we call DND. Um, mm -hmm. So they are unable to retrieve or receive verification, verification codes, except is from a financial institution. Okay. Um, those are things also we are also working on to okay. um, beat around that um, uh, restrictions. Okay. Um, for the email itself, from the email perspective, I think um, if, for instance, they are unable to receive it also as well, they can also actually reach out to the customer service. We will then reach out to us, mm -hmm. and then we would be able to troubleshoot. But uh, in most cases, we've had um, customers not to complain, but it's just one out of 100. But definitely, that one out of 100 will definitely fix it. Mm -hmm. So we've been able to fix it in the past, but in case we have cases like that, um, they can always reach out to the customer service, who will then reach out to the IT technical support team to um, assist on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure we've answered basically four questions. And, um, Side note, side notes. Now we are running a 10 weeks giveaway on oh, wow. all our social media platforms. If you download the app and you sign up successfully, yeah. you, you get to enjoy, like, you get to enjoy um, winning or being part of like 10 lucky winners every week. For 10 weeks straight, we're giving out goodie bags, we're giving out various prizes, we'll be cash gifts. The, I don't know, but they just look out for it on all our social media platforms. Yes. And then participate, please. Sign up. Sign it's very up. important. Sign, sign up. up. Don't, don't just sign download. Up your, yeah. Thank you for signing up on your own. Yeah. So, um, Mr. Ferrari, thank wow. you. Thanks for, for having me. Racing. <laughs> Thanks for having me. In my first podcast. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you for answering our improv. Okay, no, no, no. I think we're not done yet. Okay. We're not done. <laughs> we're not done. <laughs> okay, so, yeah. Bye. Bye. So, we'll do it again. Hey, while I do. <laughs>